What's up my BH Butters? Today we have an exclusive video about Dragon Ball Super Card Game. What's gonna happen with this game? We just got news that Dragon Ball Digital Game will happen, but it's gonna be totally different in what we were expecting. So we're gonna watch today's video about what just came out with the future of Dragon Ball Super Card Game. Stay tuned because we're gonna look for every aspect of this video to make sure we have the most knowledge of what's coming and what are we gonna expect because guys I was not expecting that to a point I'm not sure if I should be happy or unhappy with this news because you guys been following us we're huge collectioner we have all Dragon Ball Super card games uh, physical copies seal collection everything so as collectors for us how is that new game or what's happening is gonna impact us so let's go right now and watch this video and figure out what's happening. Let's go, guys. So like we said here, my brothers and sisters, this is the video we're going to watch. And if you look on the top over my head, Dragon Ball card game has a different image. They're actually rebranding the logos as well. It's a revamping of Dragon Ball Super Card Game, guys. Let's see right now. Konnichiwa. Okay, so Kenneko is actually introducing the new Dragon Ball Super Card game from Bandai. Okay, so like I said guys, I watched this video a couple of times, so I hope you're ready to see what's happening with Dragon Ball card games. The logo has changed, brothers and sisters, the logo has changed. So Dragon Ball Super Card Game, so the current title which the Zenkai series is being developed, will be called Masters and will continue to be developed. So what they're saying here is the Dragon Ball Super Card Game, the way we know it, will be called Dragon Ball Super Card Game Master. And they're going to introduce something new later on, that it seems. And let's take a video of what's actually coming right now. Let's watch this. Okay. I see. Cards. Next level, 2024, baby. Oh, Dragon Ball Super card game. We still have the title. And like I said, it's gonna be called Masters. So Dragon Ball Super card game master will be uh, the game that we already know. And a new title, that's what I was talking about. Dragon Ball Super card game Fusion World. New card design, it's gonna be available physically and digital version that's what i've been waiting for guys so this is so pumped brand new gameplay full core battle with fusion world uh so like you see on the left side and the right side two different sides like cards being awakened so the same kind of style so what does that mean guys so okay like you guys could saw uh, i'm just fusion. gonna go back here real quick for you guys to see you might not see uh, actually over my camera here. So it says Dragon Ball, uh, the fusion world coming early 2024. And we're going to have more information about more the exact specific date of that new fusion world and digital game is coming out. Actually, let's keep on going. So Bandai fusion is going strong. So Fusion World, world is a new environment with a more instant card battle experience. So what does that mean? New experience? Let me quickly use the Fusion World that is about to begin. So what is the Fusion World exactly? So like they said right now, we're gonna have a digital... We're gonna have a digital copy gameplay. So that's... It's probably been over than 10 years that I've been waiting for having a digital game of Dragon Ball card game. We've been collecting them for so long, but we wanted this game to happen. So they have special moves, and it's, that's like he says, we're gonna gather friends and play around the world, and the BH Brothers will finally be able to do their tournament of Dragon Ball Super Guard games with a lot of goodies. So uh, that game seems, though, a digital one is faster, more intuitive gameplay, so, is that a new game totally, or they are using the same basic idea? Let's keep on why. So, they aim for a fast pacing gaming experience that not just be enjoyable like for everyone, but it's going to be easier for everyone to play in it. So, they're going to show us another short video of it. Let's see. Dragon Ball Super Card Game Fusion World is a 
1枚のリーダーカードと50枚から60枚で構成されるバトルカードエクストラカードを組み合わせたデッキを用いて遊びますリーダーカードをセットしてデッキとライフを準備したらこのゲームでは自分のリーダーカードでアタックしてライフを攻めるスタイルを使っていきます。What I've been seeing here is the gameplay seems to be the same. Nothing seems to have changed. Maybe some combo powers, but you can see the design of the card itself is different. You still have the awakened and power, so it's the same thing as the game that we know it, so that's not new.、Uh, we have to kill the opponent to remove his eight life and to win the game. So it seems very simple and brand new card design. So that's cool too. We always love to see new design cards. So, like I said, you can see the leader card, the battle card, and the extra card, same thing, but the, the edges are different. Okay, we announced the development of Digital Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour held this year. So, there's gonna be a big event that's gonna happen. That's cool because they're always coming out with new stuff. So, I'm really happy for this. But, guys, later on, we'll see if it's gonna be as amazing. So, the digital version and master, I mean, okay. They wanted to. So, I'm gonna pause that quick, okay, guys? So, the decision to produce a digital version in the new environment was made after much discussion among the development team. This is what's happening, guys. Look at, watch this carefully because. This is when they decide to do a big move. We would like to explain some of the reason that we led to our, our decision. Okay? So they want to tell us why they did that. The first one, they organized a card pool. When a portion of the card pool with the history of six years of digital, it's a difficult, it's actually really hard for them to bring that in digital. Version after six years of cards being popped out every month, every like couple of months, and to implement them like physical, digital, so it's really hard for them to actually do this,、um, make it happen pretty much. So they're gonna come up with this new game.、Uh, the text will, oh yeah, okay, I need to specifically say something here. That's what I noticed in another video. Okay, right here. I'm gonna pause. I wanna read this, guys. So They say, furthermore, through verification, we found that there were texts that were difficult to implement. So, technically, the game itself would not be capable of maybe understanding the complexity of the game the way they did it with all the texts. Like, it was probably too hard to do. So, they're probably gonna make it simpler for everyone to play because they've been focusing on having a more fast paced game. And. By redoing the game, that seems like it. So let's keep on going. Okay, the fun of developing both physical and digital versions at the same time comes from providing gameplay that does not differ between two. However, given the difficulty of doing in so current title, we decide to start from a completely new environment, like a new game, guys. Rather than porting past cards to the digital version, like we said, the second one was resolved difference in proficiency in global deployment. Well, okay, the digital version will be available in various countries and regions of the world. If the current title were to be digitalized, as it is, they would be in. Yeah, okay. So they're pretty much, if they do it down, would be too hard. We have been playing this game for fixed years, and those regions were have not some place has no cards at all, guys. We was okay. Let me just recap here because that guy went really fast. So, we wanted to start from scratch, from a new environment to that. Players can enjoy the fullest of the battle without uniforming anything. The third one was to reduce playtime. The digital version of the online game must not be too long. I agree with that because, to be fair, if we want to do a lot of tournaments happening, because the BH Brothers will make tournaments. With everyone watching, we'll do a big prize pool and we're gonna do something crazy about it. So, that the fun for a channel is we'll be capable of playing with you guys at home and organizing crazy t o u r n a m e n t with crazy giveaways. Like, I'm telling you, crazy ones. We're ready to go really far for that. So, the digital version online must not be too long. Why? Because if we make a tournament and there's a lot of people, we cannot take all day long to do that. Okay, let's keep on going. 
Therefore, it was feasible to create it with a limited amount of text, so less text being less complicated is the reason why we decided to create a digital version of the game under a new title. Offering the physical and digital version with the exact same card pool with a new and fasting challenge. Okay, okay, what does that mean? Uh, yeah, they're hoping we enjoy it, I really hope that. Next, we'll introduce the Fusion World launch items. Okay, what does that mean? Let's see here, my camera is blocking a bit, I'm gonna explain you quick. Uh, we, mm, can I change this? Can you guys see if I do that? No, okay. So right now what's saying over me is the starter deck Son Goku FS01. So technically there's gonna be four starter deck coming out, same thing as pretty much all games. We're gonna have Goku, Vegeta, Brawly, Frieza, and they're gonna be on sale the 16th of February. So that means it's gonna come out in February. So let's keep on going with this. So this is the four new starter deck they're gonna come out with with this new game called Fusion World. Dive into the world of Fusion with this existing starter, like he said. And what's next? It, okay, featuring unique characters like we just spoke. He's saying the same thing as I did. Okay, so what? What's next? Initial Dragon Ball Super Gang and Fusion World. Booster Pack 1, Awaken and Pulse will also be available on the 23rd of February. So the first booster pack will come called Awaken and Pulse. So to find the color which suits you the best, trying in your favorite deck with the booster and battle again. Many rare cards exclusive of the booster will also be included in the game, so stay tuned. Okay, this is very interesting here. So uh, they're saying, like I said, the 16 will be the pre-release and winter 2023 will be another closed beta that we're gonna be able to test that game. Uh, and I can't wait to see it because I just realized it's another game, but it's gonna be similar to the same one we know. So we're gonna have to talk about that. So in North America and other physical development areas, the booster pack pre-release is uh, scheduled for the 16. So in North America, we're here, so that's gonna be good for us. Okay, let's see what's next. We're almost done this video and we got a lot to talk. The digital version is also scheduled to come into service at the same time. That's the point. Part of the release and opening beta will be announced, like I said, to the winter 2023. Uh, please, I invite you to try it. It's the best time to do so. It helps the developer as well. Uh, the faster hand of the experience with demo kits and available of GeekCon is starting in August 3. Okay. So experience the intuitive play of Fusion World. So they're already gonna show at the big event they're having right now some of this game. We all, they're gonna do some demos. So they're really excited for this. Uh, the, the digital version of the open beta test will also, like I said, winter and with the same demo kit. So it's gonna be only demo kits that world will be available for that. Or we will have a chance to experience, like I said, the new style of the game. What is that? So please do not miss out for a future update. So, okay, guys. Uh, easy, uh, we will continue with all. Okay, so that's very important to know right here. Before I go further, it's it's crucial what he's gonna say right now. And if we've been watching this video, guys, I'm just gonna go full screen here. Before we go any further, a new game of Dragon Ball card game is coming because if we do a real recap, they were not able to implement like six years of cards back in a new digital would be too complicated. So the fact that they did that for the digital version makes sense. but. What does that mean? Like, they're using the same game, changing some stuff, so it's not gonna be as complicated, but that means that the decks, the cards that we know right now, Dragon Ball Super Card Game, will be called Dragon Ball Super Card Game Master, and these cards will not be able to battle, I think, against the new one, because the rules will be slightly different, and there's some writings that won't be used in the new one, so the game will be slightly different. Okay, so for people who want to start playing this game, might be a good time for you because you're gonna start with a new game style when a digital version is gonna come out. But the problem that I see is people like me and my brothers who bought all the Dragon Ball Super Card game physical cards have all copies. What is that gonna do with my collection? Is my collection gonna work less because they're gonna go out of this game? But they say that they're gonna keep doing copies of this game. That's what we're gonna watch. They want to keep both games going. But as a business person of my original work, let's say, 
if you have two games going on, one is digital and one is not, and people want to play with their friends, the digital one's gonna start hitting better, I think. It, people is gonna prefer playing on this one, and slowly people is gonna go maybe f more far away from the master one, the original version. Or would it do like something like Pokemon, like the first original version worth so much money in 20 years, this first collection would worth more because it was the first official physical cards? I really need you guys to comment down below about this. Do you guys think it's going to worth more money, less money? What's going to happen with this? So let's keep on watching what my little guy here, my brother here is going to say, because that's something very important to take in consideration. Okay, so let's go. So like I said, we'll continue building on a Dragon Ball Super card game, and we also want to the Dragon Ball Super card game event more exciting. Okay. To this end, we have decided to create two game environment. Like I said, Master and Fusion World, that will meet the needs for our players. We will develop both titles with equal enthusiasts. Let's stop right there. Right there. Sorry, guys. So he's saying that he's going to put, they're going to put as much effort into the master and the new one, the, the fusion one. So maybe now, what's gonna be that in a year, in two years, in three years? When their business plan is gonna come in and they're gonna see the numbers and if they see that everyone's going towards one direction, why would they keep another one? Maybe they're saying that to make us not feel too bad to have spent that much money for over five years to restart from scratch. I know why they're doing it, it's logic. I would do the same thing if I would be in their shoes. I'm happy because I've been waiting for 10 years to have a digital version, but what's gonna happen with my collection right now? So let's keep on going. So the confident that the fans will enjoy Dragon Ball Super card game for sure. It's good, it's amazing. Graphics are amazing. Since you continue supporting and loving, we have been able to reach this far. It is true. And they look forward to continue support the game of Dragon Ball. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much the end of the video. So let's go back here. Uh, like I said again, he's confirming that he want to put that much effort in Super Dragon Ball Master. And also call, let me get it again, I'm not used to the new name. <laughs> or Dragon Ball Super Card Game Fusion World. These are now the two games of Dragon Ball Super Card Game. What does that mean? Like I said earlier, it means that we're going to keep their physical copies. They're keep going to coming out and the new one's going to come out as well. So please, guys, I want you to share. What do you think about this big news? Is it good? Bad? Uh, I see good in it. I see bad in it as well. Um, yeah, okay, so for you guys to understand what I mean, I'm going to do you a little tour of this room so you can see how many hours I spend gluing cards on my wall and money on all these collection. Look at this, guys. So right there, what you can see... Right there, that's our secret frame. And Akira will actually sign the pictures. We go here with my boys, with more cards. Right there, all the way to my wall. And if you can see, right here. That is actually their entire collection sealed. So. Like I said, my brothers and sisters, for a collection like us, we're going to be impacted. We don't know how, but I'm hoping for the best. But deep down, the BH brothers are happy, even if there's this big switch, because we're going to be able to make a lot of tournaments and play with all of you at home and make something so unique that everyone's going to want to be at the BH brothers tournament because we're going to create so much fun in it with all of you at home. So guys, I hope this video was really like, I don't know what to say. Um, I've been rewatching this three, four times to make sure that I look into all the little information I could get. And I think it's going to be bright for Dragon Ball Super Card Game. Uh, but I don't know what's going to happen with our collection. So again, guys, if you want to see more videos of Dragon Ball Super Card Game, us opening cards every week or also being subscribed to our channel for the future tournament, make sure to put that bell ring on so you can be notified every time we go live. Other than that, my brothers and sisters, peace out.